Hi, I'm Jane Schatz. Today we're going to be working with slabs. This is my favorite machine in the studio, except for my wheels and my extruder, but I, this is one of my three favorite machines, my slab machine. I got this about 15 years ago and it has worked every day I've used it without fail. There is, has been a change, however, that I've done in the last two years. I used to work with canvas. In fact, every time you buy a slab machine, you buy it with your canvas. The problem is, over the years, well, even one year, your canvas gets very dirty. A lot of people have different methods for cleaning canvas. They put it in the backyard with hoses, uh, they buy new canvas, or uh, as I did, I put it in my studio sink and I tried to wash it and then hang it to dry. I never get all the dirt out. And when it dries, it dried very wrinkly, which is not good for a clean slab. So I didn't like this. Also, the danger of having clay dust in your studio is incredibly important. I talk about this all the time when I teach, when I give lectures on all my videos. It is very important to keep a very clean studio. As you can see during the day, my studio is very clean. The only thing that I do when I give a workshop here in my studio or do a video presentation is I do do some extra dusting. But basically what you see is what I do. I clean every week every week, once a week, sometimes twice a week, if, especially if I'm glazing, I'll wash my studio floor. So, this was not working for me. And what I've done is I have read in some uh, magazines, somebody came up with the idea of using linoleum. I know this sounds very strange, but I was all for this. Linoleum that has a paper, a dull side to it. As you can see, I label this stoneware because I also work with porcelain in my studio and all of my canvases or now my linoleum sheets are either porcelain or stoneware. The beauty of this is that I can pull a few slabs and then I let this dry and I take a large car sponge with my water bucket and I just sponge this down and all of the dirt comes up. Just a little bit stays. It never wrinkles. I can keep a, a very clean studio, but most important, I'm not handling a canvas that has dust in it, that is putting microscopic uh, clay chemicals into your face that you cannot see. You don't think they're there, but they are there, and, you, and it could be quite dangerous. So to minimize any danger, I have moved over to linoleum, and I have been very happy with it ever since.